Hey everybody, welcome back to another Disney Trivia Night. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. And tonight's theme is... I'm not going to say... <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, what she's not wanting to tell you guys is that she had tonight's Trivia Night completely off the theme of it. At least. Why, don't, yeah. why don't you tell them what the theme is and then we can talk about what you thought the okay, theme was. Okay, so the was. correct theme is Pumbaa. And based on Kyle's shirt. And who else? The voice of Pumba. What's his name? Well, I don't know because I thought it was Mr. Potato Head. Which is why I'm wearing Pizza Planet. That and Kyle be... told me like two minutes before the show, hey, you know we're doing Pumba. No, no, Mr. no, Potato no, Head. no, I know. So here's the story, and then we'll say hi to everybody that's here in just a second. Here's the funny story. So we're going to prepare for the show. I gotta throw on my, you know, appropriate shirt for the theme tonight. It's got Pumba on it and everything like that. I walk out of the closet, Jessica goes. Why are you wearing a Lion King shirt? I thought tonight was Potato Head. Nope. Jessica had it all wrong. And she even like told me, she was adamant, she said, you cannot wear your Pizza Planet shirt because we can't be all matchy-matchy. I was like, why would I wear a Pizza Planet shirt But tonight? he didn't say that. He was just like, okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's the way so, our evening started tonight. Well, ended, I don't know. It's just, It's been a long day. It has. It's been a long week. If they no, could, literally. If they could see that mess over there. This is Kyle's office, by the way, not it's, mine. It's, so I'm not creating the mess. But it's our studio. It's maybe my office, but it's our studio. Because this is studio. studio and all that good stuff there. What is Ernie Sibilla? That, that'd be the, the name for the voice of Pumbaa. Oh. That's that. Tonight is theme, is, since Jessica has yet to state it properly, is Pumbaa and Ernie Sabella. This is Sabella. Ernie Sabella's birthday. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, because that might be a trivia question. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Uh, but anyway, so we're celebrating his birthday, and also as part of that, celebrating Pumbaa the character as well, because I thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of... There's actually a lot of trivia about Pumbaa that I didn't put in this. Like I was There like, could wow. have been trivia about Mr. Potato Head, too, but... One day we will do a Don Rickles and Potato Head. You have my word. I'll put it on the list. Can we do it next week? No. Okay, Not good, because I don't need to wear this shirt two weeks in a row. So, let's say hello to everybody who showed up tonight thus far. Disney Circus Girl slash Ray, welcome. Daniel Halverson, Disney's Golden Boy. Brian Roomba, I always forget how to, hey. Just say Brian. Brian is here. Thank you, Brian. We haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for being here. Uh, let's see, who else? I think that's the main people who've hopped in right now. Uh, as always, guys, please make sure you smash that like button. Share it out on social media. Invite a friend in to be part of the show tonight. I know we are going to be missing one familiar face, Pamela, tonight. She did message us and yeah. say that she was not going to be here, uh, which is unfortunate because she is sitting right up at the top of our top ten, right there with Daniel Halverson. I'm so mute your computer. You can go ahead and mute that since I forgot to do that. Ah. Almost close, the no cigar. Uh, so we'll be without her tonight, but that, that's going to open the door up for anybody else out there that's competing tonight in trivia to gain a little bit of ground. Lorena is just uh, popped in here, so welcome. Thanks for being here. Everybody say hey to Lorena. Uh, what's everybody else saying, chat? I voted for Little Mermaid. I voted for Little Mermaid too. And yes, yeah, so here's the thing: is I know a lot of you guys. I, I put out a poll. It was going to be Little Mermaid too. Little Mermaid too. But the YouTube vote. One, and that it was Pumba. It was Pumba. It was like one vote, and I said, "Okay, I mean, I got to go with what the majority of the people on YouTube wanted," and so that's what happened. Uh, we do put it on social media as well. We take all that into account. Uh, but since the majority of you on YouTube wanted this particular one tonight, there you go. And here's the thing: I didn't even. I've never seen that movie, so I was gonna have to like spoil it all for so myself. I haven't either and why did you pick that because it was relevant you know I like to do timely oh. things it could have been an anniversary I'm not going to say anything because there might be a question later on maybe okay so that's like an inside joke between the two of us is I'm not going to say anything Look, because one of us used to work with somebody that <laughs> whenever they would get upset they go I'm just not going to say anything <laughs> Brian says pronounce my last name Rumboa about is it Bo Bayo. That didn't even help me very much because I don't know if it's Bayo, Boa. <laughs> Look, we've got like a coup going on here. We're just going to go here. with Brian. We've got a coup going on here. They're saying they want a recount of Little Mermaid here, 2. Here, got it. Here's your first trivia question. Okay. Ready? Is this like, this is legit? No, this doesn't count for okay. anything. Okay, all right. Um, What year did Little Mermaid 2 come out? Do you know that? Heck no. I was hoping they'd tell me the answer. What? <laughs> But they're so gung-ho about Little Mermaid 2 that 
that somebody has to know. Shelby and Austin are here. Thank you guys for showing up tonight. We really appreciate that. Excited to have you here. So everybody say hello to Shelby and Austin in the chat window. Uh, before we get too much, and I guess I forgot to say hi to Disney's Golden Boy. He did say hey earlier. And then Daniel is already claiming victory tonight. Mm, I don't know about that, sir. You, you might be uh, get a little too ahead of yourself there. <gasps> Pamela is here. Everybody say hi, Pamela. Be here. She says wanted to say good luck to everyone tonight. I'll be back next Thursday out with a relative. Oh, oh, that's not fun. The, uh, at a relative's Aww. wake. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, so, well, thank you for popping in here. Eight's here. Everybody say hello to Eight. He's always lurking in the background, waiting for trivia to start. Which usually means it's probably a good time for us to start as well. Wait, wasn't my question when did Little Mermaid two come out? Yes. Okay. We got nineteen. Because we've got when when the original came out. That's not what I'm looking 92, for. Ninety two, two thousand one. I'm that looking for number good. two. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the answer to that one. I don't either. I was hoping they would. Anyway, so we can move on to real trivia. Jessica's now. trivia tonight was a fail. fail. All right. At the end of the show, guys, we are going to give you an opportunity to learn more about our uh, Facebook group, Disney Through Your Eyes, where you can chat it up about. Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars stuff. Share pictures and stuff for your Disney trips and things like that. We'll talk about that at the end of the show. Right now, let's talk about them rules. Here is the scoring system for tonight's game. Uh, the theme again being... Uh, Mr. I almost said Mr. Potato Head. Dang, I ruined us! <laughs> uh, Pumbaa and Ernie Sabella... Uh, so that is your theme tonight. So all theme questions are going to be worth two points. The random questions or the odd questions, the odd number, uh, even numbered ones, are going to be worth one point. Jessica and I, from time to time, will give random scoring. But that is not guaranteed in any way. So that's the main thing. If you're just playing, whether you're playing live or watching this on the replay, that's how you can score for yourself. Now, some of you are choosing to participate long term with us, meaning be here most nights. So we like to keep track of things for you guys on a long term basis. So we have a top ten over the last about was it two months now? Uh, two months, yeah. I think. Two months. Here is our current leaderboard since we started over. I think right in July, some August. I Just think say it, it with a lot of force and people. With will August, you. we started over in August. Here's our leaderboard. <laughs> Daniel Halverson still at the top, but Pamela is gaining ground. She will unfortunately lose a little bit of ground tonight since she's not going to be here. Allie Rose, Disney Circus Girl 8, Jacob Cacho, Juan Rodriguez, Alex Brunner, Mouse Talk, and D. Hazel are all in our top something. 10. So that's 10 right there. It's just three of y'all are tied for top eight. So you can get on this leaderboard by showing up every single night and scoring overall these particular ways I'll share with you right now. You get three possible points per game towards that leaderboard, a participation point for trying to answer a question. If you score a point in an individual game, you'll get a point long term, and then the game winner gets that last final third point for the overall scoring for that leaderboard at, that we just talked about here. So that is all of the scoring. Now it's time for the actual the for the actual trivia. We need like a drum you, roll or something. You know what I was thinking? I was literally just thinking, we need like one of those clapper things like with the lights dim. Oh, that would be good. Like, um, mm. what was that show, that game show, How to Be a Millionaire? Questions Who to become... wants to be a millionaire? That. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> <laughs> Did we just do that together? That's just... Right. All right, that's eight so... years of marriage, babe. So insane. We got something right in eight years of marriage. All right, anyway. Let's and get... it's the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Do, do, do. <laughs> let's get started right now with... Disney Trivia Night, the theme again is almost not Mr. Potato Head. Pumba! <laughs> Pumba and Ernie Sibeli. And You're... I'm just wearing the wrong shirt, so we're going to pretend. Your first question is, how old did Ernie Sibeli, the voice of the animated Pumba, turn today? How old did Ernie Sibeli, the voice of the animated Pumba, turn today? today uh no did you even look at that picture honey let me hear i'm gonna use this i'm gonna bring back up the cue card that we had at the beginning just to just look at that do you think that looks like number <laughs> lord help my soul that's actually a recent picture too mm. i guess 45 looking for the top three correct answers i have seen three correct answers it looks like everybody did their research before they came okay is... well good for y'all knowing what the theme is all right so the scorers for 
the first question are Disney Circus Girl, Allie Rose, and Eight, all getting the correct answer of 70 years old. Shelby and Austin and Daniel were just short. And Disney's Golden Disney's Golden Boy. He got it. What's wrong with my mouth? I can't talk. He got the correct answer. He was just a little bit short. And as a reminder, I do always like to try to remind people of this. It may appear differently on your screen. It may appear that you got yours in first. It's whatever comes through on our screen. I promise we're not like trying to cheat for one person or the other. It's whoever comes over here first. All right. Well, we'll keep moving forward. Question <laughs> two tonight. And these worth are worth one point. Worth one point. All the even questions are your random Disney Marvel Star Wars questions. Maybe this will be a potato head question. No. Question two. In what year did Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, finish filming? In what year did Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, finish filming? Oh, happy birthday, Allie. Happy birthday, Allie. Thanks for spending and it with us. And you have Hermione's birthday. What did you just say on this show? Oh. We do not talk about such things on this show. Yes, we do. And by we, I mean I. That's Everybody true. wish Allie a happy birthday, please, in the chat window. Let's make her feel special uh, for this being her birthday. Uh, I have seen a very close answer. Hey, is mine right? Incorrect. Is it close? Mm, other people were closer. Okay, that's rude. A lot of people are really close to the answer. Really close. Okay. Think about the time when this movie came out. Even if you don't know the answer, just start dancing. Bri look, Brian's taking the strategy of like, this or this. I need one. But none of them are correct. <laughs> Is my answer correct? Uh, yes. Wow. And I have seen one, two correct answers. I need one more. And there it is. Shelby, Austin, Daniel Halverson, wait, and Disney. Wait, wait, wait! Shelby. Shelby, Austin, they're, they're one yes. and the same. Daniel. Disney, Daniel and Disney Circus Girl. All get a point. If you got that taken care of now. That was real stressful. <laughs> Just by the way. 2003 is the answer. So it came out in 2005. 2003 is when they technically finished the filming. Now, if they... Never mind. They they technically go back for reshoots and stuff like that. But principal photography ended. That's what we were talking about there. Just for technicality's sake. Ready? Sure. Question three. Oh, for two. Who voiced the live action version of Pumbaa? Who voiced the live action version of Pumbaa? Now, since this is Ernie, Sabella, and Pumbaa, some will be related to Ernie, some will be related to just Pumbaa. This is one of those questions here. Because I know. Oh, maybe this wrong. Did, who'd, you, who'd you guess? Let's see. Oh. Did you just write his name? <laughs> did, that, did that person actually sound like Ernie that voiced Pumbaa in the live action one? Uh. All right, let's I think see. This is it. I think this is it. No. Oh. I have seen three correct answers. The scores for us in this one are Disney Circus Girl, Allie Rose, and Eight. If you guessed Seth Rogen, you are correct. Well done. I don't know why I play this game. Y'all just like tank any ounce but of here's the thing. self confidence they, I ever had. I'm betting, uh, well, Daniel's getting technical. It's not live action, excuse me, photorealistic. But it's live action, for real. Uh, oh, because they use real lions. Okay. <laughs> they use them as models, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You're a model. Model yeah. for no one. I'm a model? Wow, that's, 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 that's quite a compliment from you. Um, I can't even remember what I was going to say before that little bit of was, tangent. Um, what was I even saying? I don't know. I'm sorry. It probably wasn't important at this point, so we'll just keep going. Is anything going. ever important? Question four tonight. This is going to be worth <laughs> one point. Here we go. What upcoming Disney movie had its special look trailer released this week? What upcoming Disney movie had a special look trailer released this week? Jessica, any guesses on that one? You're not even going to try? I'm literally thinking so hard there right is, now. There's only so many. See, here's where, here, here is what's going on in my brain. You normally keep me up to date on these things, and our life has been so busy this week, you didn't tell me crap. So, I'm going to put a big question mark. Well, everybody agrees with Daniel now that it's that it's not live action. I, I know, technically it's not, but it is. So, let's just let it be that way. We'll just say the new Lion King. How about that? 
All right. Uh, oh. Three correct answers already. So eight, Disney's Golden Boy and Ally Rose. What was the question again? What was a special look trailer was released this week for a witch movie, upcoming movie? Okay, so we've had like seven trailers for that movie. Like two. You gonna it give them feels their points? Like seven. No, I wasn't listening. Who was it? Eight. Disney's Golden Boy and Allie Rose all get a point on that one. Well done, everybody. You paid attention to uh, recent news. But again, it feels like we've had so many freaking trailers for that movie. Which we didn't do a reaction for that one because we were just busy during that time. So apologies. It's been so busy. Apologies. All right, question five tonight. Another themed question for you guys. What African language does the name Pumbaa come from? What African language does the name Pumbaa come from? I don't know how to spell this word. Now, I know this may feel like a really hard geography question or, or cultural question, but it's one you should know. Is this right? Yes, that is correct. <gasps> Jessica got Boom. one tonight. Finally took you five questions in. No, I got, I got question two right on my second guess. <laughs> while we wait for everybody to And get I spelled that right. Oh, man. Quitting while I'm ahead. While we wait for everybody to get in here, I'm going to remind you guys to make sure you smash that like button. And I think we had someone else new just pop in. Walt Life Salt Life. That's Sounds like awesome. a beach thing. Walt Life Salt Life. Everyone say hello to Walt Life Salt Life for being here. Thanks for coming in. And we have our first three correct answers. It would be Disney Circus Girl, okay. Allie Rose, and Eight with the correct Sheesh. answer of Swahili. But my favorite answer, and we're going to give him a point so because... Willy. What? Sawly? So, yeah, that one's so, so Willy. Uh, so he gets a... he gets a, We give random points sometimes just for random reasons. Disney's Golden Boy, you get a point for making me laugh with So Willy. I don't know why. Yeah, it sounds like I don't know why, but it just it I'm not laughing like outwardly, but inside I'm dying. I'm I'm LOLing right now. It's like somebody had said, tried to say Sir Willie. It's like Sir Willie. Okay. Question six. For one point, what country began beta testing Disney Plus this week? What country began beta testing Disney Plus? this week you got to see the entire catalog of what's going to be on disney plus if you were paying attention excuse me to the news this week there were some things i was so excited about like literally text my brother and was like do you remember this movie from when we were kids trust me she called me and she was like did you see this disney channel movie yeah. oh my gosh. i don't feel like i can talk about it though because it might be a trivia question even though i know it won't be but mm. you're like don't ruin anything uh, answers are rolling in. Have seen one correct answer thus far, <gasps> but all the answers have been very close, if not correct. Is mine right? It is. Wow. Uh, let's see, man. Y'all, y'all know your geography at the all right, very least. We got least. three correct. Three correct. Disney Circus Girl, Walt Life, Salt Life, and Ali Rose. Very good, guys. Belgium was close. Holland was close because it's all in the same region, but. Uh, Netherlands is the correct answer on that one. Kyle's obsessed with geography. I love geography so much. That's why I love Epcot, because it's about the world and countries and all that kind of stuff, even though I don't want to travel everywhere. Yeah, Kyle's afraid of planes, but... Just saying. Anyway, all right. Anyway, next. (laughs) Question seven tonight. Correct? One, seven, seven. Theme question. What 2000s... Disney Channel original series did Ernie Sabella appear in? Can we go back to his picture? I can in a second. What 2000s Disney Channel original series did Ernie Sabella appear in? This may be a little difficult, but start thinking about what was popular on the Disney Channel. Go back to his picture. Here's your... I mean, if you get it... Go back to the picture. If you get it from his picture... You're going to be amazed me because I don't remember him from this series. But you should know it. You should know the series. So just start guessing series if you if you have nothing else. Um, Holland and the Netherlands are the same place, FYI. Are they? I thought they were two separate countries. I'm still trying to answer the question. Are either of those I'll take right? it on face value at this point, but I have to do some oh, research. if this is Lizzie McGuire, I definitely got it wrong. No, I have not seen... Let's go back. I have not... 
No, I have not seen the correct answer yet. I'll give you a hint. It is live action series. A live action series from the 2000s. Oh, I didn't even know Mouse Talk was here. I know. Hello, Mouse Talk. He says, hello, humans, and may the force be with you. It's combining all good things together. Um, Everyone say hello to Mouse Talk. Are either of my answers correct? No. But you're like, you're in the same area as all that. Well... Uh, Is it Kim Possible? Because you looked through Kim Possible in every freaking show. Good times with Johnny says, how are you? I follow you on uh, iTunes. Oh, thank you. We appreciate you. Welcome. Everyone say hello to Good Times with Johnny. Thanks for being here tonight. Oh, um, lots of new answers. Oh, I have seen one correct answer, two correct answers, and three correct answers. Like they're literally all the same, all right there if it's That's So Raven. Make, I want to make sure. It is. The correct answer is That's So Raven. Brian Rumboa. Daniel Halverson and Disney Circus Girl all get the correct answer there. It is. I actually never watched that show, ever. Never <laughs> saw one episode. I think Walt just said hello to himself. He said, we told him to say hello. We told everybody to say hello to Mouse Talk, but... Bless. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's here as well. Thanks for being here, Melissa. Everybody say hello to Melissa. They're still guessing things. <laughs> Corey in the house. Never watched that one. Wizards of Waverly Place. What's Corey in the house? Is that Corey, like Boy it's like the spinoff. It's the spinoff of Raven. Raven, that's Raven. It's about him and her brother. I do know that much. Uh, can we see the pic of him again? I think that's a little late, but just so you can have a reference point, there's Ernie Sabella next to Pumbaa. They look alike, right? Oh my gosh! That's I don't mean rude. that. I don't mean that. That is weird. so freaking rude. I don't mean that weird at all. Okay, I mean mean at all. That's rude. Next. All right, here we go. Question eight. Before Kyle, like, offends any other elderly person. I was th what, are you calling him old now? I, mean, I said elderly. Question eight for one point. Who was the last attraction host for the Energy Pavilion at Epcot? Or in Epcot. Prepositions are hard. Who was the last attraction host for the Energy Pavilion in Epcot? I did not say the name of the attraction for a specific reason. That should give you a hint. I believe I'm correct, am I? Are you correct? Read my answer. You are correct. Wow. Shocking. Brian, you absolutely can tell us something out of trivia. As soon as we get done announcing the scores, we kind of hang around for another minute or two and chat with you guys, so feel oh, free to do that then. Three correct answers. Are they here already? Yep. Good Lord, you guys are Disney, fast. Circus Girl, Walt Life, Salt Life, and Eight. That was fast. Uh, you just made it weird. Yeah, I always make things weird. You should know this by now, no, Daniel. No, literally. Um, oh, yeah, that was her principal. I guess we're talking about that, so Raven or something like that. Oh, no, no, he's talking about Ernie he, Sabella. You're right, was I got her you, principal. Got, got you. I, I, I'm following you now. Bless it. Keep going. Or Even Stevens was the only show that came to mind. Even Stevens was the bomb. Just saying. It was Lizzie McGuire. Question nine. We're getting behind. I'm sir. sorry. I'm getting ca caught you up You were here. like, yeah, I don't know where you were. Like, you are in the vortex. I'm Let's in the go. vortex Let's of go. comments. Question nine. Finish this lyric of Pumbaa's. I'm a sensitive soul, though I seem thick-skinned, and it hurt that my friends never stood. Yes, that is correct, Jessica. One more time. I'm a sensitive soul, though I seem thick-skinned. And it hurt that my friends never stood blank. What is that missing lyric? I'm always impressed that you don't accidentally like. I did it one time. Spew it out, really? I did it one time. Yes. Uh, see, I think we're gonna get the answers all quick here. We've already got one correct answer and three, three correct, correct answers. answers. Disney Circus Girl eight and Ally Rose downwind. Best line of that entire song. Never stood downwind. But doesn't Timon go, Pumba, not burn the children? No, he, he says, every time that I, Pumba. But he says it in the live action version. So. Yeah, that was shocking. That was hilarious. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's bad. I was just saying Every it's time that I thought, aren't you going to stop me? All right, what are we on? 10? Don't quit saying live action. People are going to start throwing rocks Excuse at Excuse me, you. photorealistic. Question 10. For one point, which Fab Five character starred in the classic cartoon, How to play football. Ray is singing it too. She says, and oh, the shame. He was ashamed. Yes, that is correct. Which Fab roll. Five character starred in the classic cartoon How to Play Football? 
this should ring a bell even if you haven't seen this particular classic Disney cartoon. I mean, there's only, I said Fab Five, so if you know who the Fab Five, there's five answers to try, so. All right, there we go. Three correct answers. First in are Disney Circus Girl, Eight, and Allie Rose, Goofy, or as Allie Rose says, Goffy. She did pronounce. Or Disney's Golden Boy put Goofed. Goofed. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him Goofed from now on. Goofed. What's up, Goofed? A combination of goofed and goof trooped. All right. Okay, next. Goofy is the correct answer. Number 11. Um, all right, question 11. Here we go. For how many TV series has Ernie Sabella reprised his voice role of Pumbaa? For how many TV series has Ernie Sabella reprised <laughs> his voice role of Pumbaa? So a simple way of asking that, how many shows has he been on as Pumbaa? Shows, TV I shows. I love that series. you make these questions so I try to, like, difficult. be all professional with Don't! it. Don't! I proofread them this time. I'm well, that's a miracle. Yes. You yeah, actually had time. Let's see. Uh, Look at Brian. <laughs> uh, I have seen three correct answers Disney Circus Girl Daniel Halverson and Disney's Golden Boy the correct answer was two can't believe I got that right too Timon and Pumbaa their animated series and then uh, The Lion Guard is that brand new one that I, I haven't seen yet but I people say good things about it's, I mean it's a kids show but to be fair if it's Disney somebody's gonna say something good about it people say good things about uh, A Wrinkle in Time yeah and that was crap. Uh, eight says, I don't know, House of Mouse, some other stuff. House of Mouse probably would have been a good guess. I don't think he did. He was never list credit credited to him in the um, film list stuff that I was looking at for him. I, I tried to double check the things, but two is the answer. Lion Guard and Timon and Pumbaa, obviously. All right, we're on 12. 12. We're making some good time here. I know, because I'm keeping you on track. I'm like keeping you Question focused. Question 12 for one point. Which Disney park was the last one to house the old attraction Mickey Mouse Review. What? What Disney park was the last one to house the old attraction Mickey Mouse Review? Now, this is an old attraction. And remember, there are only so many Disney parks. So even if you don't know the answer, keep them coming. Um, eight's telling you you're wrong, basically. Uh, what does Eight say? He was in House of Mouse. Yeah, he was. Okay, well, I missed that one. Um, how about this? We'll give Eight an extra point on that one. I'm assigning random points left and right tonight. Yeah, what's going on with you? You must have uh, really liked our dinner. <laughs> um, let's see what else is going on here. Disneyland, Magic Kingdom, Disneyland, Disneyland. Not quite. I have seen Tokyo. one one correct answer pop up here. I've seen two correct answers pop up. Let's see if one more comes in. Whoa, yep. Yes, there it is. Eight, Allie Rose and Disney Circus Girl, Tokyo Disneyland was the correct answer. It first came to the Magic Kingdom, or was it Disneyland? Either way, it was in the United States, and then it went over to Tokyo. So it was, I've heard it was a great attraction for its time. It's like it had a ton of animatronics of like Mickey and the whole really? gang and stuff like that. So is it like, um, the bear. Country Bear Jamboree. Okay, think about like Philhar Magic without 3D and just animatronics and old. You know, that's what mm -hmm. I under, that's what actually I think it re got replaced by in Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, but anyway. I'm not mad about that. Yeah. So there you go. Next. Uh, 13. Thir Lucky number 13. 13. Where am I at? Okay, here we are. 13. For two points, finish this line. Timon said, he looks blue. Pumba said, I say blank gold. Timon said, he looks blue. Pumba said, I'd say blank gold. What is that missing blank oh. from a lion in the Lion King? That's a good question, actually. I was kind of proud of this one. It's, it's actually a pretty simple answer. I'm sure it is. Oh. And Jessica, <laughs> I think he, she's already seeing someone pop up with the right answer, and she's like, oh, yeah. I should know this one. It just kind of irritates me when, you know, you don't remember the answer and you see it and you're like, darn it, I knew that. First three correct answers are eight, Disney Circus Girl and Allie Rose. I'd say brownish gold. Brownish. It's 
really hard. It's a gross sounding word. Like brownish. brownish. It's hard to say brownish. So Ish. I was in this class today. Ish. Sorry. And the instructor was like, I have to say this word because it's a medical class. And he's like, and we all hate this word, but I have to say it anyway. It's the word moist. And he had to like keep saying it over and over. And everybody was like, ah! Look what Daniel wrote. It's a colorful answer. That's so, that's so lame. That's Next. so lame. Question 14. For one point, who is the author of the book for which the movie James and the Giant Peach was based on? Oh, who is the author of the book for which the movie James and the Giant Peach was based on? It's a very familiar author for a lot of children's books. Jessica is correct. I knew. If you didn't get this one, Jessica. Would your feelings be hurt? Not my feelings. I'd just be, like, shocked that Jessica didn't know this one right here. Oh, moist. Ugh. Like, why is that word so gross? I mean, I didn't think it was a gross word till you told me it was a gross word. I don't know. It just... Uh, first three correct answers in. Allie Rose, Disney Circus Girl, and eight. Roll Doll is the correct answer. Also, that's a very weird name. I'm sure it's a family name for his family. Obviously for his family. Who else's family would it be a family name for? But anyway, Rolled? I always thought that's hard it was to say. Ronald. Like, I just, like, read the N no, in there. No, it's Rolled. Oh, I know. I know. Like, you rolled on the ground. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Oh, Daniel, he was one of my favorites. He did some good roll gold pet pretzels. Oh, my God. Oh, such good stuff. Good stuff. Y'all are on, on fire tonight. You think the word milk is gross? Milk? Malk? Milk? That's how your brother says it. Milk? Bring, me, bring me some malk. All right, question 15. Here we go. I also hate when people say milk. Like, like they drag out that eye. So, okay, fair. Next. Question 15. For two points, for how many films has Ernie Sabella voiced Pumbaa? For how many films has Ernie Sabella voiced Pumbaa? Incorrect, Jessica. Okay, this number. Films does not mean just theatrical. No. You know what? I'm done guessing. I'm tired. I only have a couple numbers in my brain. He was part British, part Norwegian. I mean, part Norwegian people are all good people. But Kyle's never going to go to Norway, so... I will someday. Will you? Because your decades are running out. All right, I've seen one correct answer. Two correct answers. Is there a third? Stop giving away the answers. I, didn't I told give away you to stop nothing. doing that from last week. Good Lord. Oh, my goodness. God, you sounded 99 when you did that. I told you to stop. Bitchy, I told you to stop. Only two correct answers are in. See, if y'all would have just listened to me. There we go. There we go. So eight, Walt, Life, Salt, Life, and Disney's Golden Boy all get two points. It was now, four. Jimmy. The four films are Lion King, Lion King 2, Lion King 1 and a half, and the, uh, the Lion Guard film that came out. It was like the lead into the series that they tend to do sometimes. So four films that he's voiced Pumbaa in. All right, question 16. Only five more questions left. Here we go for one point. What is the real name of the X-Men character Wolverine? I think I will just... Well, I mean, the, most people only know his first name, so I will just take the singular name. What is the real name of the X-Men character Wolverine? And yes, that is a Disney question because they do own Marvel officially, and now we'll see the X-Men eventually. In the do you MCU. have the X-Men movies up here? No, I don't. Uh, Daniel said, I don't think Kyle's going to go to Norway. That would involve him getting on a plane. Absolutely. I mean, I will do it someday. I can get on planes. I just don't want to. I don't have a desire The to. last time we got on a plane to go to Alaska, I will say he was calm. But it was not fun. He was not like normal people called. He was Kyle people called. Kyle people called. All right, the first three correct answers are in Disney Circus Girl 8 and Allie Rose. You right. all know it. You love it. Logan oh. is the correct answer. And you know what? Give Daniel a point because I'm impressed with his, his knowledge of what his name actually is. I was not looking for that answer, Daniel, but it is correct. In the comics, his name is James Howlett, but I was looking for Logan. 
So correct, you got that one in first. <laughs> Walt Life, Salt Life. Oh Lord, I don't know any Marvel. That's how I feel. Well, this is the perfect time for you to learn some stuff because every once in a while we throw a Marvel theme up here too, but it's usually MCU related, so it's not like. It's I don't Disney. know the difference, so. It's di the Disney movie, the Disney Marvel movies, all that kind of stuff. Question 17. For two points, in what Fantasyland ride can you find Pumbaa? Okay, I got a picture of Fantasyland. In what Fantasyland ride can you find Mr. Pumbaa? Does anybody know the answer? That's a big no for me, dog. Think about the rides that you typically find in Fantasyland, and then think about where you might see figurines, maybe, I don't know. Is that leading anybody anywhere? No! It's not helping anybody. I'm just saying. But there's only so many attractions in, in, Fantasy in Fantasyland. Land. So just start guessing. Like you start, just write down one. Um, I can't. Because I can't remember what Fantasyland is. Uh, Disney Circus Girl says, no Marvel. Hey, I'm sorry. Sometimes Marvel stuff is going to be here. Uh, Daniel, he's asking if it's Disneyland. I would say it is... I, I think it's in both. I can't confirm that, but that's why I just asked. This attraction's in both land, in Disneyland and Magic Kingdom. All right, we have three correct answers. Eight, Alley Rose and Disney Circus Girl. It is It's a Small World is where you can find Pumbaa. What? Somebody guess Philharmagic, Philharmonic. Wait, I wasn't listening. Pooh. Eight, Alley Rose and who? Eight, Alley Rose and Disney Circus Girl. Excuse me, where the crap? In the Africa section, you can apparently see a figurine of Pumbaa. This has got to be a lie. Donald's hidden in there, too? No freaking way! See, if you would stop, like, lamenting about the fact that you're on It's a Small World. And just, I love It's a Small World! And just world. sit back and go, and bits. look at all the details. You miss, like, you, people miss so many things on It's a Small World. Well, it's not me. I don't know. I just don't believe that's the truth. Okay. Question 18. Only three questions left. Here we go. For one point, which California city... Is Walt Disney World approximately the same size as? Which California city is Walt Disney World approximately the same size as? So as we have already determined, I'm terrible at geography. I couldn't tell you the size of cities. You're correct. <laughs> she, she, didn't, she just wrote down the first thing that came to mind, and she's correct on that one. Well, I also only know about five cities. How many have you gotten right tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm like 50% right. Mm -hmm. It's the best I've ever done. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else. With, I've seen a correct answer and three yep. correct answers. Dizzy Circus Girl, Daniel Halverson, and Ali Rose. San Fran, Sokio. No, <laughs> San Francisco. What is San Fran, Sokio? Not Sokio. San Fran, Tokyo is from Big Hero 6. It's like um, a combination of Tokyo and, and... See, look, San uh, Fran, Sokio. Th thank you. Thank I you, thought Ray. you just like had a slip of the tongue or something. No, Los Angeles. Los Angeles was a good answer, but San Francisco was the right one. I like sand, Francisco. San Francisco. Okay, next. All right. Uh, question nineteen. Your last theme question. Your last opportunity for two points. Let's do this thing. In what Disney video game franchise can you find or hear Ernie Sabella voice? Pumbaa. I said franchise because I didn't want to be so specific because apparently it's only in this one video game in the franchise. So I'm just saying if you can tell me the franchise, Disney video game franchise, can you hear Ernie Sabella voice Pumbaa? That's, That's all I'm right. looking for. That is correct. Oh my gosh. Jessica, I am shocked. I don't know what's going awe. on. Uh, everything. All right, I've seen three correct answers. Allie Rose, eight, and Disney Circus Girl. Daniel Halverson, just behind. But you had the right one. Walt's Life, Salt Life, same thing. You were right there, but just a little behind. I really love reading all these, like, people's channels' names. I know, isn't it great? I, I it love that name. It is so funny. Walt Life, Salt Life is awesome. Brian, since you pointed out exactly which one it's in, you get a random point tonight. Brian gets one, an extra you point. You were, like, so generous tonight. And I didn't even spike your food. What is going on? I'm just, I'm just happy tonight. It's know. not even Christmas. You're like Christmas Santa Claus. is almost here. Can you? Remember? I know. We need to start like talking about gifts. All right. The final question for tonight, worth one point. 
here we go. What two TV channels have exclusive exclusion exclusive rights to air the Star Wars films? I need both in the same answer. That is correct. Shut the front door. I'm about to run out. What two TV channels? <laughs> What two TV channels have exclusive rights to air the Star Wars films? If you know the company, you'll know the channel. Channels. I need both of those in the same answer. That's the only way I can count it. Uh, Walt Life, Salt Life, I will give you a hint, especially for future trivia nights, since we're basically done with this one. Uh, refresh, go to data if you're watching on your phone as opposed to your Wi-Fi. Sometimes that's quicker. Change it up. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, not ABC and NBC. No, not sci-fi. Not freeform. Not ooh, what is sift? And yeah, I don't know this one. I'm not from America. I knew this would be a problem for some of our international viewers, but I try to mix it up so everybody has a chance. I have seen a correct answer, but I need both of them. From there oh. we go. I've got our first. Oh, uh, two, for, two. We got two correct answers. We're looking for one more. They kind of fit together, if that gives you a hint at who got it right. I'm surprised that you knew this one. I am too, actually. But every time Star Wars is on the TV, Kyle is like, oh, we got to watch it. It, it might not be on again for the next two Jacob years. Jacob Cacho finally made it here. Thanks for being here, buddy, but we're just ending. Uh, I'm looking for one more correct answer. TV channels that are not Disney. That is correct, technically. Uh, we'll put another, like, 15 seconds on this one. We're looking for the only two channels that have exclusive oh, rights. there it is. Is that it? Wildlife Who got Salt it? Life. Where'd it go? Wildlife Salt Life, right there. Oh, oh gosh, what's going thing. on here? I right missed. here, Kyle. Right here, sweetheart. No, but Lorena got it first. Look. That's wrong, honey. Look what she wrote. Oh, that's right. That, that is wrong. Okay, so Wildlife Salt Life. <laughs> uh, I tried to give them to Lorena. Uh, TNT TBS is the answer, so that's Allie Rose 8 and Walt Life Salt Life. The Turner Broadcasting Company is the official company, and thus those two have the rights uh, to do it. So there is your thing. Disney Dan got here on the last question. She write him down. Thanks yeah. for being here. Everybody say hi to Disney Dan. Thanks for popping. And Jacob Cacho. I forgot to say everybody say hi to him. Jessica's tallying the points. Let me remind you of a couple things before we get out of here tonight. As I mentioned at the beginning of the show, we have a Disney fan community on Facebook, a Facebook group called Disney Through Your Eyes, a playoff our title for our channel. We would like to welcome you all over there. Um, you, all you have to do is search up Disney Through Your Eyes on Facebook, and you can join that community, uh, start conversations, ask questions, advice, share it. We, we really want to see pictures of not just like Disney Park stuff, but just your Disney uh -huh. life. Yeah, like finding the Mickey ice cream bar in the grocery store yeah. last week. Or if you're at a store and you found something like, check this thing out I found like at a thrift store that was like vintage Disney thing. That's It's there for you guys. So we'd really love uh, for you to join that community if you've not done so. So check that out. And then we're also going to send you over to Mouse Talk as soon as you're done here uh, with our channel. If someone could put their link in the channel right now. Dee's not here tonight. She's usually our moderator and I don't know where she is tonight. So Somebody, if you will put Mouse Talk's link, we would like you to go over there and say, hang out with them for a little bit on their Disney live stream and make sure you tell them that Disney Through Your Eyes, Through Our Eyes, sent you over that way, Jessica and Kyle. Um, all right, Jessica, the winners for tonight, the top three. Top three in third place with 22 points is Allie Rose. In second place with 24 points is eight. And with a whopping 26 points in first place, Disney Circus Girl. Well done, Disney Circus Girl. She is our winner. Everyone, please congratulate her in the chat window. A well-played game by all tonight. Uh, you guys knew some stuff tonight. I was kind of nervous about some of these questions. I thought I was trying to get in my little hard question streak there. But no, you, guys you did good. did so good. So congratulations to Disney Circus Girl slash Ray. She's a part of that community, so definitely come on over and hang out with her and us everybody else over there in disney through your eyes uh and we're going to be back here same time same place next week uh brian we're about to wrap up you said you had something you wanted to tell us so you tell can tell us we're you ready can tell us in the chat window right now but we only have a few minutes because we don't want to run over um mouse talks time too much because we want to send you guys over there 
Uh, let's see. Everybody's congratulating Disney Circus Girl. Uh, Walt Life Salt Life said this was fun. Thanks for doing it. Hey, we're glad to have you here. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us for, I guess, the first time. I don't think we've ever seen... I don't remember commenting on that name before. I mean, you might have been... I think you may have been in our comments on one of our other videos, but never in a trivia night. So it's great to see new people here. Uh, so we really, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. So as a reminder, I do polls throughout the week about, or a poll at least, for this. So you can have a voice in what the theme will be. Uh, usually it's going to be related to something that's relevant, whether it's like something big happening like Disney, uh, Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge opened up back in like May. I, I was trying to figure out where you were going I got that. there. It took me a minute, but I got there. Um, so that's Mouse Talks Leak, but it doesn't work properly when I copy it for some reason. Interesting. Uh, well, thank you for trying to share it, Disney Circus Girl. Uh, no first timer for the trivia. Okay, well, great. Well, I'm glad you chose to hang out with us for your first time here. Uh, it's awesome. Like I said, it's awesome to have new people here tonight. Uh, Pamela comes in out of nowhere and says, "Congratulations." That's the Pamela we know. Like always, so sweet. Just no matter what's going on in her life, just very kind. Uh, let's see, Brian. I think we missed the first part of it. Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, she broke. You broke up with Amanda. Well, I, I don't. I don't know if that was. Yeah, I, she, thank you for telling us, but I, I don't know if she wanted you to share that here. But. Well, but he said she's still his best friend. I'm glad y'all are still friends. So uh, that's that's great news, though. Uh, so I'm glad you guys are still friends together. That's the great thing about Disney is that it brings us all together and keeps us all together, especially this one over here when she gets in my nerves. I just remind her of the good times we've had at Disney World. There you go. So anyway. It's worth it. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Hope to see you same time, same place next week, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time for another Disney Trivia Night. What else should they do? You <laughs> just ruined that entirely. What else should they do? Well, obviously, you need to go find us on Facebook, like Kyle was saying. Twitter, Instagram, we're all the places. And we'll be back next Thursday for Trivia Night. Thank you guys so much. Until we assemble again. May the Force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>